Welcome to the Learn to Create Hand Painted Textures for Video Games. In this video, we are going to make the final adjustments to our texture. Alright, so we are going to rename those layers, double click on the name, background, and rocks. We are going to create a group, so click one, control, click another one, and you press control G. Seems like we have to add a shortcut for that. Configure Krita, keyboard shortcuts, group layer. Let's set again here, control G, reassign, accept, let's try again. There we go. Let's move the layers inside the group and here we are. Perfect. Now we are going to make some color corrections to our texture. For that we are going to right click on the group, let's go to add and filter mask. And we are going to start here on adjust with color balance. Here we can modify the colors in the shadows, midtones and highlights of our image. So for example if in the shadows I go to magenta the shadow part is going to go to more violet or purple color. So let's do a little bit of magenta, cyan. Let's see what we have in the midtones. We have that. Let's do a little bit red. And the highlights can go red, green, and a little bit of yellow maybe, that, that's perfect. You click accept, and here we have this filter mask that we can rename, color balance, and you can always activate or deactivate this. What you can also do is right click on this filter mask and go to properties and you can always modify again. So let's add another one. This time we are going to use for example the HSV adjustment and here I can modify the hue, saturation. In my case I think I want a little bit less of saturation and the lightness I'm going to decrease it a little bit. Let's add another one, filter mask, and this time I'm going to use color adjustments. And with this, we are going to make a little bit more of contrast. So we are going to make an edge curve like this. And maybe I want to tone down this, so I'm going to divide this by two. Now we are going to try to add some more variation to the rocks. First I'm going to deactivate the filter masks and I'm going to go to a selection tool and I'm going to select for example this rock. And I will press Ctrl U and here we can modify the selection as you can see. So I'm going to start with less lightning and moving a little bit like that. Then maybe we can add Control U again, a color adjustment. Check out the preview here. And now we are going to add some deer to this. So I'm going to use less opacity and I'm just going to blend this rock
a little bit of light here. And now maybe we can add some more color variation to some of the rocks. So for that you are going to select a different color and here on the blending mode of the brush we are going to choose color. So now if I paint this I'm going to modify the color of the rock. All right. So let's add here for example So back to normal, a little bit more of light here. So let's activate our filters again, right? And now we can maybe modify the filters a little bit again. Now we are going to sharpen our image a little bit. So I'm going to come here and going to duplicate the layer of my rocks. And I'm going to go to filter, enhance and click sharpen. I'm going to go to filter and apply the filter again. All right. And now I'm going to lower the opacity to control the intensity of the filter. Let's call this sharpen and let's set it to 60. Alright, we are going to export this texture. So we go to File, Export, and here on File Type, I'm going to select PNG, like that. And now we are going to create a variation of this texture. Now, the safest way of create a variation that you can connect to other variations is to modify only what is inside of the texture because when you tile a texture that texture is going to connect by the size so if you modify whatever is inside so in the center you will not have any problem so i'm going to deactivate the filters and i'm going to make a new layer and we are going to add some grass so let's select I win color, something like that. And we are going to paint some grass. We can also add some variations to the rocks itself going to go to file save as and I'm going to name this variation and so we are going to keep our old version and the variation all right as you can see we are now working on the variation file and let's make some variation I'm going to deactivate the sharpen and let's add for example this What you can also do is, for example, press Ctrl T and here on the tool options we have this little icon with a drop and this way we can make some modifications to our rocks like this. Alright, we press Enter and there we go.
All right, and now we are going to add some color to our grass. Let's start with shadow, more saturated, darker, and here a little bit more of blue. Perfect, there we have the grass. We are going to export this new version. File, export, by version. Actually, I forgot then to do some things. So, first, I'm going to make the sharpen again. So, I'm going to delete this layer. I'm going to merge the grass with the box. Control, sorry. Control J to duplicate. And Let's name this Sharpen. Let's go to Filter, Enhance, Sharpen. Right, Control F to repeat. And we are going to lower this like that. Right. And now we are going to activate our filter masks. And maybe I want to make a new layer outside this group and above to make some highlights for the grass. Export and there we go. So here we have our texture with the variations. As you can see if you zoom in you will see a lot of noise. This is because of the sharpen so you might as well decide to, to not use it. In my case I'm not going to use it anymore because this noise is pretty ugly to be honest, but as you can see in general the texture looks pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to move this there and perfect. So in the next section we are going to make an horizontal texture. Thanks.